In this session, we will be discussing a problem on shape shape spacing of precision point. So here is the question. Synthesize a four bar mechanism to generate a function y equal to x raised to 1.5 for the interval 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4. The input crank is to start from 30 degree and has a range of 90 degree. Take three accuracy points. The output angle varies from 0 to 90 degree. So there is a function y equal to x raised to 1.5. So this is the function y equal to x raised to 1.5. Okay. And the interval is given is 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4. So the starting value of x is 1 and the final value of x is 4. So the starting value of x is given as 1 and the final value of x is given as 4. Uh, the input crank angle is to start from 30 degrees. So the input crank angle, input is represented by theta and output is represented by phi. So the input can, crank angle starting position is 30 degree and has a range of 90 degree. That is delta theta s will be equal to 90 degree. Okay. Take three accuracy points. So here the value of n will be equal to 3. The output angle varies from 0 to 90 degree. The output angle that is represented by phi varies from 0 to 90 degree. So I am going to represent the given data in a table. So uh, there is the input function, there is the input angle, there is the output function and output angle. The positions are starting and final. They, there are, we have to take three accuracy points that is n equal to c. So 1, 2 and 3 in between the starting and the final position. We have to find the input and output values for 1, 2 and 3 positions. So in the table, uh, the starting position of x is given as 1 and the final position of x is given as 4. That is as per the question. So in the table, the given parameters are given. The starting position of x is 1. The final position of x is 4. The starting position of the input angle is 30 degree. And the final position of the, sorry, the range of the input angle is 90 degree. The output function y equal to x raised to 1.5. The output angle varies from 0 to 90 degree. Okay. So here uh, we have the starting position as 30 and the range is 90. So range will be final minus starting value. Range will be final minus starting value. Here range is 90 and the final value is we have to find out and starting value is 30. So final value will be 30 plus 90 that will be 120 degree. So here the value will be 120 degree. Similarly here the range. Range means final minus starting value that will be 90 minus 0 that will be equal to 90 degree. Here the range will be 4 minus 1 that will be equal to 3 sorry 4 minus 1 that will be equal to 3 and y equal to x raised to 1.4 so here it will be 1 raised to 1.5 and here it will be x is 4 that is 4 raised to 1.5 and the range will be 4 raised to 1.5 minus 1 raised to 1.5 so, so 4 raised to 1.5 is 8 so 8 minus 1 will be equal to 7. So this will be the given parameter and we have tabulated some other parameters also. So here is the details. Okay. Now we have to find the values of x1, x2 and x3 using shape shape spacing of precision points. So the shape shape spacing of precision point is given by the equation xj equal to half of xf plus xs. In some uh, textbook it will be given as a. This parameter will be given as A minus half of XF minus XS. It will be given as B in the cos of 180 into 2J minus 1 divided by 2L. Okay. Where J is 1, 2, 3 up to N. Here number of position point is represented as N and it is equal to 3. It is given in the question. So N will be 1, 2, 3. So we have to find out X1, X2 and X3. The final value of, uh, in the question, the final value of x is given as 1 and starting value of x is given as 
sorry the final value of x is given as 4 and starting value of x is given as 1 similarly in this case 4 minus 1 so here it will be a value will be 5 by 2 and b value will be 3 by 2 okay and the tabulation is as follows so we have going to find x1 that is here j value is equal to 1 so x1 will be half of 4 plus 1 divided by 2 Minus half of four minus one into cos of theta into it is two j minus one divided by two n. Here j value will be equal to one and n value is always three. So two into one minus one divided by two into three. When we tabulate, we get it is at as one point two. Similarly, second case x two that is j is equal to two. That is five by two minus three by two into cos of Here two j minus one j is equal to two and n is equal to three. So two into two minus one divided by two by three. That is one eighty into three by six. And we tabulate and we get it as two point five. Similarly in the case of x three, that is j equal to three. We have to we are doing the same tabulation and we get it as three point seven nine nine. So I have written all the values here one point two, two point five, and three point seven nine nine. So we can check it. Uh, the value must be lying with, uh, between the starting value and the final value. The starting value is one and final value is four. So the value is lying between these two. Now we have to find the y component. Y component will be equal to raise the x component raised to one point five. That is one point two raised to one point five, two point five raised to one point five, three point seven nine nine raised to one point five. So the values will be as follows. So y one one point two raised to one point five, y two y three. Okay. And the starting value of y will be that is already discussed. So the values will of y will be in this format. So the shape shape equation is only used to find the these three parameters. Okay. From this we have we have find out. These three parameters. That is the output function. Now we have to find out the input angle and the output angle. Okay. For that we use an iterative method. And here is the equation. For to find the input angle, theta j minus theta s divided by delta theta is equal to x j minus x x by delta x. So when we uh, when we have to find uh, one theta one, we have to give j value as One. So when we give when we are giving j value as one, it will be theta one minus theta s by delta theta is equal to x one minus x x by delta x. Okay. Theta one we have to find out. Theta starting value of theta is thirty degree. The range of input angle is ninety degree. X one is one point two. That we have find out. The starting value of x is one, and the range of x that is four minus one that is three. So the Here the unknown parameter is theta one, so we have find out theta one. Similarly, find out when j is equal to two. The only parameter changes is here the theta two changes and x one becomes x two, that is two point five. Rest all parameters will be same. When j is equal to three, the theta three changes and here the value will be x three, that is three point seven nine nine. And when we tabulate this, we get the value of theta two, theta three, and theta one. The same equation is used for used to find the output angle. That is, phi j minus phi s by delta phi will be equal to y j minus y s by delta y. So, we if we are giving j value as one, j value is equal to one. Phi one minus phi s divided by delta phi is equal to Y one minus Y s divided by delta y. So phi one that we have to find out the starting value of output angle is zero. The range is ninety degree. That is output output angle varies from zero to ninety. So the range will be ninety degree. Then Y one that is one point three one four that we have find out now minus one divided by seven. Seven is the range of Y. You get the first output angle. Similarly, when applying j equal to two, you get the second output angle. When applying j equal to three, you get the third output angle. Here, the only chaining parameters are 
the six parameters are only changing in this equation but uh, rest all are constants okay rest all are not not constant they are not varying okay so from that we have we have find out this three set of angles that is theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 similarly phi 1 phi 2 phi 3 now we are now we are going to the question the question is to synthesize a four bar mechanism that we have to find out the length of the link of a four bar mechanism for that we use this three set of angles in the frodenstein equation and we find out the length so we are applying frodenstein equation here so <coughs> the frodenstein equation is cos theta minus phi theta is the input angle and phi is the output angle will be equal to k1 cos phi minus k2 cos theta plus k3 so we are generating first equation by applying theta 1 and phi 1 when apply theta 1 and phi 1 we get k1 cos phi 1 value that is 4.064 minus k2 cos 36 plus k3 will be equal to cos of theta minus phi that is 36 minus 4.064 when we give theta 2 and phi 2 values we get this equation when we give theta 3 and phi 3 values we get this three equation so we have three equations and three unknowns after the tabulation we can find out the values of k1 k2 and k3 so the value of k1 is minus 0.2838 k2 is minus 0.199 k3 is 0.973 so where k1 is will be equal to d by a k2 will be equal to d by c and k3 will be equal to a square minus b square plus c square plus d square divided by 2ac so here we have three equations and four unknowns this is the first equation this is the second equation and this is the third equation the unknowns are a b c and d so it is impossible to solve that for in that case we assume the length of any of the link as 1 so we get the other values as a ratio of the length uh, the link length d in some cases in the question there will be given any one of the length for example the crank length is 10 cm or the fixed link length is 5 cm in that case we can take that length otherwise assume any one of the link to be a unity and the rest of the link value will will be with respect to the assumed value okay here we have taken d is equal to 1 when we apply d is equal to 1 a will be equal to 1 by k1 k1 value is here for after tabulation you get the length of the link as a b and c okay while performing this you have to draw this diagram this is a important factor because in this diagram only what is a b c and d is defined also theta and phi a is the crank length b is the coupler length c is the rocker length and d e is the fixed link length theta is the input angle and phi is the output angle okay. okay in this table you can perform a checking that is you have a starting value and you have a final value the intermediate value will be in between these two okay this is a you should check uh, whether the answer is right or wrong that is uh, the intermediate value should be between 1 and 4 for the input function for the input angle the intermediate value should be between 30 and 120 it's right for the output function it should be between 1 and 8 it is right for the output angle it is between 0 and 90 so you can perform a check while uh, drawing this table and tabulating and all okay so here is the result of the synthesized length of the uh, four bar mechanism for the given question Okay thank you